Welcome to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph Florosa. Today, he will continue with our series, The Church in These Last Days. Pastor will proceed with the essentials of the faith. He will start with the three aspects of sanctification. Now we're going to continue with the essentials of the faith. And we started with six non-negotiables. These are so important that we call them non-negotiables. I want to review and expand on at least two of those. Let's begin with the number one, and this is really important. Christ's death on the cross paid the full penalty for our sins and purchased eternal salvation. Now, I gave you the verses in John 19.30. I gave you 1 Peter 2.24. Uh, but what I would like to do is review this verse because this is really our subject today. And it connects up with all of these essential non-negotiables. Let's look at this Hebrews 10.10. 10. It's so important. We have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. Now the word sanctify there is the verb form, uh, hagiazo. It's in a perfect passive and it means the action continues from the past and continues. Uh, we were sanctified at the moment we believed in Jesus Christ. At the moment we changed our mind, we repented and we trusted in him and his work on the, on the cross. However, this word sanctified also has a noun form. It's called a saint. It has the adjective, a holy one, and the holy part is the adjective. And so, and all of them are connected to the root word hagias. This is such an important non-negotiable doctrine that we need to explain it. So let's talk about what sanctification really means to us as believers. First of all, the definition, it means being set apart. Uh, we were in Adam, we were born in Adam. And 1 Corinthians 15, 22 says, as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. And the moment of salvation, the moment you trust in Jesus Christ, you are in Christ in the church age, you're set apart. Even in other dispensations, you're born again. You have a spiritual birth. So we need to talk about that. Okay, there are three aspects of sanctification. This is so important for you to understand. Three aspects of sanctification. First of all, there's positional sanctification. And this takes place at the moment we trust in Jesus Christ. Now, what many people do not understand, there's also a progressive aspect, a continuation of God transforming us into the likeness of his son. And of course, this is accomplished through the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the word of God. It's also called experiential, but we'll stick with progressive. We got three, uh, three aspects, positional, moment of salvation, instant of time. Progressive, we also call this phase two. It's our whole Christian life. And then ultimately is when we are in eternity, when we're perfect, when we're no longer corrupted in any way. Let's look at a verse that talks about all three of these aspects. 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. Now what's so important about this verse? God is the one that does the sanctifying. What did we do? We changed our mind. We repented. We trusted in Christ. But everything else is God's doing, God's grace. Okay? So listen to 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24. Now may the God of peace himself, and notice this, sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body, all three are involved in sanctification. May, your, may he preserve your, soul, your whole soul, spirit, and body be preserved blameless. And we know that our bodies corrupt now. We know that we're not blameless now. Believers do sin. So when, it, when will we be blameless? When, we, when will we be sinless? At the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Now, this is the good news, folks. Verse 24. He who calls you, that's God, is faithful who also will do it. God himself guarantees every aspect of sanctification, every phase of sanctification, positional, progressive, and ultimate. Okay? Let's look at positional sanctification. What's the importance? What's the meaning? Why is positional sanctification so important? This takes place at the moment of faith in Christ. This takes place as a result of repenting and changing our mind and then by grace through faith trusting in Christ. At that moment we're saved or sanctified or free from the penalty of sin. We're n the wages or the penalty of sin is death and hell and eternal judgment and we're saved from that. We're no longer under that penalty. We have the gift of God which is eternal life. Listen to this statement. You are all complete in Christ forever. The phrase in Christ is what we call positional sanctification. And later on in this lesson, we'll look at 1 Corinthians 1, 2. Okay? Now listen to this. Positional sanctification. This is a part of saving grace at the point of faith in Christ. You are set apart for his use. You are united with Christ forever. Nothing can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ. That is your position. It's fixed. It's forever. It's complete. And nothing can change that. And God himself is the one that guarantees, ultimately, you will be blameless. Okay, now let's look at progressive sanctification. Now, we all know we still sin, and we still have a sin nature, and we still live in a broken world, and we still have a corrupt body. So, what's the solution for that? This means, in progressive sanctification, this is where through the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, through spiritual growth, we are saved or free from the power of sin. We can actually live in victory even in this life. Let's look at this. Your daily walk with Christ in the Spirit. It's the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit. Listen to this verse. It's so clear. Galatians 5.16 What is the secret to being free from the power of sin? Listen carefully. Galatians 5.16 I say then... Walk in the Spirit, or be filled with the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. How in the world do you do that? You do that in the power of the Holy Spirit. You do that. Listen to 2 Corinthians 4.16. The outward man, the corrupt body, is perishing, but the inward man, the soul and the Spirit, is renewed day by day. That's the name of our radio broadcast. That's what you need to do every day. That's how you stay walking in the Spirit. That's how you experience progressive sanctification. That's how you experience freedom from the power of sin. Thank you for listening to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph LaRosa. Tomorrow, he will continue with the church in these last days and the essentials of the faith. Until then, God bless you and stay healthy.